you on this property? This is our property. This is all our property and they are not allowed to be on it. You know what? It's really shame they do all this destroying by your and you are protecting them. I don't see any destruction. Sorry to sorry you feel that way. Listen, if you're not gonna stop them, I don't, I'm not interested in a conversation. We're not we're not here to discuss stuff. But we've got we've Look got, what he's doing there. I think you have to stop him. You need, you need to stop them. Ah, stop my job. It's your job to let the horse bite coming from the military base. I'm not a part of here. I'm not a part of the space here. So how come that you are here now? Yeah, well, you know, this is like a filming party. Really? Film. It's fun. So you think this is all very amusing? Do you, you know, the, the Israelis stealing land from uh, from Palestinians? That's just an, an amusing thing to come and film. First time I've encountered this. Two weeks ago, we caught settlers working on this piece of, out of the Abu Haikal land and they were clearing this barbed wire across the land so as to prevent the Palestinians from, from access to their land. Uh, this piece of land is a closed military zone because it's so close to the military base which is behind us, uh, the concrete building behind us. Is, is, so that's built on Abu Haikal land. So yeah, what's, what they're doing here is opening up the pathways in order for Jewish tourists to be able to get to the to the mosque, uh, all of this is all a closed military zone, so it's not possible for Muslims to to, to come and, and and even enter the mosque, let alone pray in it. Um, and they have uh, they've uh, taken they've taken more of the Abu Haikal land for the military base. They've built a pathway around that, so you can get from the from the settlement there around the military base. You can get into the mosque that way, and now they're opening up the, 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 the walls in order to connect with the old pathway that used, that used to be for the mosque um, across the Abu Haikal land. And so from here, they're, what they're doing now is, they move, as you can see, they're moving the stones in different places in, in, in the wall in order to, to create this pathway. They're opening, they've opened up the wall onto the Abu Haikal olive orchard, so obviously they have intentions of, of, of doing more things on, on that land. Uh, that, that part of, of, of the land, um, and they've opened up the pathway all the way from here to Ain El Jadid, the uh, the spring, which which they call uh, Abraham as well. Um, and the, the their plan is, is is to then connect from the well to Juhana Street to the Abraham Mosque, which is just over, just over the over the valley there. But you can see behind us now, uh, he's called Olfar, the the big man, uh, he, who's supervising this operation. And he's the head of security at, uh, for, for, for the settlement. Uh, he also works as a part-time journalist. So um, at the moment, what, what, they, what they're doing is, is moving rocks uh, for, from, the, from these walls. There used to be two fences. So this, was a, this used to be a protected pathway through the military base to get to the military observation post. Um, but now they're opening up the walls Onto the uh, onto the onto the Abu Haikal land, onto the Palestinian land, uh, because obviously they have designs to take the land on this side and land on the other side. There, since 2011, there's there's been uh, vine plants planted on the Abu Haikal land just behind that wall, uh, and the uh, the DCO and the police refused to move them so far.